Happy 40th anniversary, Abiding Presence. I'm Peter Manfred. I was the pastor at Abiding Presence from 2001 until 2009. Pastor Steve email, emailed me and asked if I would uh, just share a greeting and uh, some reflections and hopes and dreams from my era as pastor at Abiding Presence. I first came to Abiding Presence uh, because Pastor Bill Brueggemann, a very good friend of mine, uh, called and said, Peter, I've lost somebody to retirement and my staff, and would you want to come over and work with me? I said, I would love to because of what I knew of the history of the congregation and my great friendship with Pastor Brueggemann. Uh, what started out as sort of a temporary arrangement uh, became permanent when Pastor Brueggemann went on to follow a new ministerial passion, uh, do, doing border ministry for our Evangelical Lutheran Church in America in the Mexico U.S. border from California to Texas. And uh, Gene and I have been thrilled to be part of this congregation now for almost half of its history, because even after my retirement in 2009, uh, we have stayed on as members. Uh, when I think of my hopes and dreams for the congregation, the first one was just to continue with strong pastoral leadership. Uh, when a congregation loses a much beloved founding pastor of the congregation who served there for 20 years, I think it's important for the congregation not to lose momentum. And thanks to the amazing lay leadership, as well as staff support, uh, that was so true at Abiding Presence that uh, we followed in the vein with which the congregation and with the health of, the, of a congregation with which it was founded. And, and that was uh, to my great delight and hopefully to the glory of God. Uh, the other kind of goal and desire of mine was to provide good leadership for the amazing staff, as well as lay leadership that we have here at Abiding Presence. I saw myself as sort of a ringleader, making sure the tigers and the lions and the, and the trapeze artists each do their amazing things with the amazing gifts which with they bless with which they bless this congregation without stepping on each other's toes very much. And so being the head of staff was uh, one of the things that I really relished during my time here at Abiding Presence. Uh, the other big thing that happened was we had this little building thing. <laughs> we had a very successful capital campaign. And then for a year, we worshiped down in the gym while we literally flip-flop from end to end of the sanctuary, built on this amazing uh, chancel altar area that was new and elevated and really renewed our worship space. And at the same time, added a second floor to the education wing to add to our educational ministry. So that kind of fits in with the love God part of our uh, mission statement, current mission statement. But then the other emphasis of mine was always to serve others. We did this especially during Hurricane Katrina. We sent a couple trips of folks to help rebuild houses in Mississippi and more significantly adopted a group of uh, people who came in uh, from Louisiana who were uh, refugees from Hurricane Katrina. And that was a relationship that developed over the period of a couple of years. I'm so thrilled to see Abiding Presence continue those emphases of love God and serve others in even more effective ways in, in the time since I was pastor there. God's blessing to you uh, as we celebrate 40 years of God's grace in this place and look forward to many, many more in Jesus' name.